We created a habitat for our gorillas, which is entirely inspired by how gorillas live in the wild. So we, we looked at Mbele Bay National Park in the Congo, we took all the pictures and we recreated that here, as good as we could. Yeah, it's been a you know a really great morning here at Dublin Zoo, but we have a double celebration. Not only the opening of our magnificent rainforest, but the announcement of the birth of uh, my Annie's baby, which was born last week. And just you know, we don't release for a couple of days to make sure mum and baby are okay. But it's been absolutely truly amazing, and a little female. We've had a little bit of a run of males over the last number of years, so to have a female is truly wonderful. The thinking behind this is to try and replicate as, natural, as near as possible the natural rainforest where gorillas would live. And I mean, this is truly an amazing job that's been done here. You know, as we spoke earlier on this morning, Jones and Jones from Seattle would have been the people who worked on the landscaping with Midlands, the contractors. But I mean, it's all about these undulating hills and the vegetation that we have out here and the natural trees that were part of the original landscape, which we have taken into the habitat. I mean, our gorillas can now climb 60, 70 feet off the ground Visual stimulation, absolutely fantastic. It's wonderful to be here to celebrate this remarkable, fresh, successful day uh, of many, many successful days in the history of this zoo. We're delighted today to announce that our gorilla troop has expanded. Miani gave birth to a female and she's been an excellent mother. So there are now two youngsters in our troop. Miani is sitting over there. It's, uh, it's less than two weeks old. So it's just uh, a stamp of approval by the gorillas of the gorilla rainforest, I say. A hen, a doe, a tree.